So key observations, first of all, uh, incredibly rapid acceleration of the amount of data that's available in our industry. And it's a combination of data that's captured by healthcare information technology, uh, data provided within structured drug databases, and several other sources. Uh, one of our observations that we find now is that it's really not just about delivering data, but it's ensuring maximum utility of the data at the time it's delivered. So our opportunity at Elsevier is to help our customers to maximize their data capabilities to meet their unique business needs. So to maintain accuracy, uh, really organizations might need to take a little different approach. Today we see a lot of organizations that are taking a traditional approach of looking at their data at the point of use and comparing that back to the data as it was delivered at the original source. Well, what they're missing is that they're really evaluating their own internal operations, which may include workarounds. Uh, they don't really know if their data is 100% accurate. Um, and obviously, if you don't have accurate data, you really can't support your business operations. Um, so we advocate for a different approach where we're examining the quality of the data and accuracy farther upstream, and then based on the accuracy of the data, potentially making adjustments to your business processes. Well, the approach is worthwhile because it really is a chance to reevaluate your entire operations. You know, many of the people we speak to have achieved the outcomes that they need, but that's because they've re-engineered work, many workarounds into their process. And it's not optimal if you think about the strain, the cost on IT and your operations staff. Uh, certainly, we're talking about things like merging in supplemental files, doing data remapping, and then publishing that data into your IT systems. There's definitely a business cost, and it's not sustainable to manage that in, in that way. So really, what is the impact on the bottom line? Do you have the most effective pricing strategy? What's your cost to do your claims management? So at Elsevier, we recommend an approach to really examine your data farther upstream and to look at the possibility of eliminating workarounds with adjunct or supplemental data sources. So a solution really should be based on the key tenets of data strategy. And accuracy to me is the number one thing that I would look at. Um, we need to remember too, accuracy is a function of timeliness. So specifically, we're looking at things like flexibility. What's the breadth and depth of the content and does it allow you to uh, adapt to an ever-changing market? You know, scalability really is at the forefront of a data strategy model. If you intend to remain competitive in this rapidly changing marketplace. The solution needs to be applicable to all segments of the market, retail, pharma, PBMs. So if I think of one example in retail um, and the cost to manually make a change to my pharmacy dispensing system if my data is not accurate or isn't delivered in the time that I need. Well, obviously there's a strain on your IT staff, operations staff to do that, and it's certainly not cost effective. So this is an obvious opportunity to look at adjunct data sources to your legacy data systems that might help to improve the operational impacts and outcomes for your business. Yes, we've seen a lot of exciting developments uh, with data analytics in our industry. Uh, some of the early results are around machine learning and image recognition for medical images, which are helping radiologists and pathologists to improve diagnostic accuracy. We definitely are seeing that one size doesn't fit all in terms of a data analytics approach. Uh, sometimes we'll see companies that are very ambitious and they want to use the latest and greatest tools, but are those tools really necessary for the problem they're trying to solve? As an analogy, I could use a chainsaw to cut my vegetables at dinner but is that really necessary? It's a little overkill. So regardless of your data analytics strategy and tools, one thing we recommend is that your drug data is structured and delivered in a way that are gonna be compatible with the tools that you plan to use. So the way we make a determination is really to look at the problem that a customer is trying to solve and their data capabilities. When we consult with a customer, we first want to identify the problem. 
and we need to understand is it a single issue or if possibly a concatenation of multiple issues. And then we take a deeper dive and look at their data capabilities. And with that information, we can recommend the right solution. So looking at the data capabilities in more detail, um, from an architecture perspective, do I have the granularity that I need? But at the same time, we don't want extraneous data that might essentially muck up the data model. Next, I want to look at the data coverage. Do I have both the current and historical data that's necessary? If I only have current state information, I really can't do regression-based modeling, which is a core component of data analytics. And finally is data accuracy. Uh, I know it's a bit cliche, but bad data in means bad data out. So data accuracy is absolutely critical. And this is an opportunity, again, to take a look at the data source and the data accuracy from your legacy systems and look at opportunities for adjunct data that might be supplemental and useful. We believe they should consider Elsevier's gold standard drug database because it is the most current, accurate, and reliable database on the market today. Timeliness is a really important factor. We update both our drug pricing information and our drug clinical information every day as soon as it's received. And we publish that information to our customers 365 days a year, weekends and holidays. Just thinking about drug pricing data alone, last year we found that 21% of all price changes occurred on a Saturday or Sunday. And that's information that we pick up and deliver to our customers on the weekends. Secondly, we leverage superior technology in the Elsevier Gold Standard Drug Database for both our internal processes and in the way that we deliver the data to our customers. We employ a state-of-the-art editorial tool which allows our teams to ensure the accuracy of our data as we deliver it to our customers. So by investing in Elsevier's Gold Standard Drug Database, you can be confident that you'll have the tools that you need to guarantee the scale and efficiency to achieve all of your operational, clinical, and financial business outcomes.